Matrix algebra is great, it's useful, it's powerful, but the utility and beauty increases greatly with the addition of geometric intuition. That's what we're going to turn to now. The big idea is that a matrix is more than a data structure. It is a function. It is a linear transformation, sending vectors to vectors. What does that mean? I'm going to think of A as taking an input vector x and returning an output vector u by means of our old friend ax equals b. In this case, u is equal to a times x. I'm going to think of multiplication by a as a function. Now, what this means in practice is that if a is an m by n matrix, then the input x is really a vector in rn, and the output u is really a vector in rm. Most importantly, this function is a linear function. This means if you double the input, you double the output. This means you can add two inputs together and then multiply by A, or you can multiply the inputs by A and then add them together, same difference. Now, with a linear transformation, there's a beautiful geometry associated to it. The idea is you look at what A does to the basis vectors, and everything else follows from this by linearity. So in the, the two by two case, think of basis vectors i and j in the plane, and look at what A sends them to. Look at A times i, look at A times j. These are, again, vectors in the plane. By linearity, we can figure out everything else. Take a linear combination of these two, let's say i plus j. What does A send that to? Well, it sends it to the sum of the outputs. Again, because A is a linear transformation, you can do this with rescaling. You can do this with any linear combination of those i and j vectors.